Hey guys, uh, Sarah here from New England Junk Journals, um, and I want to come on and do a fabric haul with you. Uh, this is going to be a two-parter. Um, I'm going to show you first these um, sample books that I got, fabric samples, from a local fabric store um, near me. And I... I lucked out guys sometimes you just get lucky um, sometimes it is persistence um, and for me it's a little bit of both usually I try to be very outgoing as far as searching for opportunities to find materials for my junk journals and for my crafts so one of the places I knew from the past um, that has fabric sample books and fabric samples and that they cycle through them um, was a place near me called Cloth Interiors and they uh, it's kind of hit or miss right like sometimes I call and they're like uh, you should have called a week ago we already got rid of them uh, and I've left my name several times but it's not really the kind of place where you can just you know leave your name and they'll get back to you when they have stuff because they're very busy and there's a lot of you know different people moving around so not everybody you know is going to know so sometimes you just have to be persistent the same thing with my um, local Sherman Sherwin Williams uh, paint stores sometimes it's hit or miss as far as if I'm able to get wallpaper sample books or not oh hang on a second Oh, so sorry. It's a bit dusty down here. But all of that preface to say this is going to be a thrifted treasure, hashtag thrifted treasures video, um, because I don't know exactly when I'm going to post it. I can't guarantee that it's going to go up on a Thursday. Um, if, if, I, yeah, if I happen to, to um, schedule it for a Thursday, it will also be a thrifty Thursday. Um, so just in case I will do this spiel, um, Thrifty Thursday is hosted by Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming and, uh, Thrifted Treasures, hashtag Thrifted Treasures is hosted by Dale at Not Too Shabby Chic. Both great channels. Go visit them. Go see what they've got. So, like I said, this is going to be two parts. I will show you the fabric sample books today and some wallpaper I didn't realize that they're also a wallpaper store now so she gave me some wallpaper remnants I'm gonna call them um, and some wallpaper samples not in a book that was pretty cool I didn't know that that was a thing this is by greenhouse fabrics and these are all kind of like uh, upholstery fabrics and they have this paper like backing that sometimes is very easy to come off. Sometimes it's not so easy to come off. Um, what I'm going to do with these, I'm not 100% clear on right now, um, seeing as they are upholstery fabrics. But I'm going to try to peel the paper off. Sometimes it does work if you take an iron to the back of these, a warm iron, and just go over the back of them. And it will, not always, but sometimes it will help release this paper and then you can just peel it off in one sheet. Um, that is very time consuming, as is what I am doing right now. So that's kind of... <laughs> A moot point right um, but yeah I'm going to find something to do with these they're beautiful fabrics I am NOT going to do what I did last time which was take apart all of these books I don't think um, that is what led to my carpal tunnel which was terrible for quite a while and is starting to come back so I don't want to aggravate it any more than it needs to be but yeah, I thought I would be a hero. And that was what, like a year and a half ago at least. 
I, on the same weekend, I got a bunch of wallpaper sample books and a few of these fabric sample books. And I thought I would be a hero and just take a whole bunch of them apart in one weekend. That was a bad idea, guys. Don't do that. Um, I think I ended up taking apart like four wallpaper books and two or three fabric sample books and I have had trouble with my wrists ever since. It was a bad, bad idea. So I think I might just open the top of this so that I can access enough of the fabric to just cut it across. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to try to detach all of it. Uh, I thought in the end it was kind of a waste anyway because um, the part that's underneath is going to have staple holes all the way through it. I found that with my uh, wallpaper and with my fabric samples it just ended up having like staples. So it wasn't really stuff that I could use anyway. So oh, I love this. This is really pretty. Can you see that? It's like a gorgeous green and um, like jute color. Love it. So. I'm gonna find some fun way to use all of this um, upholstery fabric in like some kind of a, um, not quilted, but some kind of a stitched together project. Um, this is the same brand, Greenhouse Fabrics, and it has this like color key at the top. And only the first few pages are these bigger samples. And then as soon as you get in here, they are these half samples. So yeah, unless you just stitch a bunch of these together, you can't really do a whole lot except maybe cut them up for clusters. Or if you can get the backing off nicely, um, fabric flips, that would be cool, right? Or if it's tall enough and you get this fabric off, you could probably wrap that around um, one of the thinner uh, spines, right? It could be wrapped around a spine. These fun colors right here. Celadon. Celadon. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I love that color, that green. So it's funny sometimes, right? We get to watching other thrifty hauls and things that, you know, people are bringing home and you're like, oh, how come I can't ever find whatever it is, that thing? You know, like, oh, they're so lucky they live in a place where they can, or able to find whatever it is, you know. But I've seen people go into thrift stores and come out with just buckets and buckets of like card making uh, items, embellishments, scrapbook paper, and you know, they got it for a killing, right? Um, but we all have something where we are that's unique which is actually why I love these thrifty videos so much, because you get to see the variety um, of items available. Sorry, I know I'm flipping through these kind of quick, but I have two more to get to and the wallpaper, and I don't want to take up too much of you guys this time. Uh, thank you for watching these videos and sticking with me. And I'm going to try to make it short and punchy. <laughs> you can tell like a lot of these are part of like a bigger pattern and you're just given just a, just a fragment of the pattern. Oh, 
that's cool. This one is Anna Elizabeth uh, Texture Krypton Home Fabrics. Look at that one. This one's called Eucalyptus. Ooh, I like that. It's a nice, like, berry color, like a cranberry. <laughs> Creamsicle. That's fun, too, looking at the different whimsical names they give to all the patterns. Oh, it's avocado. <laughs> oh, I like this one, too. And this one. I think I have, like, some wallpaper that's a similar texture, similar um, color palette as that. thinking is that maybe I can frank and stitch these together um, in coordinating colors and maybe make some journal covers out of them maybe um, stitch them onto a piece of cardstock or something this one is uh, Anna Elizabeth Marseille chenilles Is that Marseille? Guys, I'm French, but I, I still don't know how to pronounce that. Um, but, yes, what I loved about this one is that all of them are chenilles. Little um, swatches of chenille. And these ones come with the little plastic in between some of them. Or maybe all of them I guess so that's cool too because then you have some extra like acetate to play with and do little projects with Ooh, they feel so good they're so like soft a lot of them with this pattern this diamond pattern and this pattern. Ooh, I like this. What is this called? Spa. I like that color. It's like a greeny blue. <clears throat> and it's a nice dark green. Kale. Yeah, okay. I'll call that kale. Ooh, I like that one. Denim. Oh, so much prettier than the name denim implies. There's that. So those are the books. And then I have... Let me move all these for a minute. I have some wallpapers that she gave me. And these are just, um, let me see if I could tilt it so you can see. It's not a lot on here. Um, but it's nice and big. So instead of having my little um, wallpaper sample books, um, I get nice, big, big, and the best part, this is the best part, guys, there's no writing on the back. It's completely bare, which is awesome. 
I don't know what it is about the wallpaper sample books. As much as I love them, I am not a fan of the fact that they have all of the information printed on the back. Um, this is just this metallic, silvery metallic with some highlights and stuff on it. That's pretty cool. So I got some of that. This is really beautiful too. And it's a lovely, like, powdery blue. I don't know if it's coming across on the screen that way, but it's, it's like a, it's a deep powdery blue. and birds. I love it. It reminds me of antique wallpaper without actually being antique wallpaper, which is my favorite kind. Um, not that I mind actual antique wallpaper, but sometimes you have to be very careful with it. Um, it's Morris Melsetter Wallpapers, and the design name is Newell Ivory Sage. Gorgeous. There was also this very large piece of what at first I thought was fabric until I was able to handle it. It is definitely wallpaper, but it's just like a large square of wallpaper. Um, Tybalt number uh, 10967. If that means anything to anybody. And then they had just these little like sample rectangles. This is backdrop. And they're all, I believe they're all from the same collection. Um, I guess backdrop is the collection. by Schumacher and they're just this size they're let's see um, nine and three quarters by 16 and three quarters and they're just all these really cool funky patterns. So they've even got a fold already in them. Perfect for covering the outside of a journal. Or becoming the base of a journal cover. And that's it. Um, that's all for this um, fabric haul. The next one I will show you fabric samples that were not in books. They were just free floating fabric samples and some like remnants that she had folded up. Um, that'll be coming in the next video and that's gonna be a big one. I got a lot and some of them are just gorgeous. 
I felt so blessed when I actually looked through them when I got home and saw everything I had brought. Um, yeah, I was kind of in awe. So thank you guys. Part two will probably be coming next week. Um, again, I'm filming this ahead, so I don't know the exact schedule, but I'm, I'm going to guess these are going to air about a week apart. Um, so thank you guys. Thank you for being with me and seeing all these awesome items that I've gotten. And I will be with you again next time.